Let's find out how many upgrades are too many upgrades. Our job today is go on a stabbing spree. We've got to murder everything we see on the screen. And we're going to add magma. It leaves a fire trail that burns enemies. That is in fact my favorite thing to do with enemies, so we're just going to get in there and burn them all away. The same thing we should do with all of our problems. I don't like any of these upgrades, so we're going to reroll hoping for something amazing. I like alarm clock. Deals double damage briefly at the start of every wave. So that means when the wave starts, we charge around, we get a new weapon. We're going to choose target, chance to deal triple damage. Now we should get the enemy spawn and I get extra damage at the start of the wave. Uh, so we just got to go around. Okay, so if they live long enough, then they attack. So alarm clock helps because as soon as the wave starts, I get to murder everything with my high speed maneuvers. Also lightning. We're going to release lightning. Uh, and that's going to chain around the other idiots. So it's going to uh, take a little bit less effort to kill everything. And then lightning level two. Lightning bolts jump to more nearby enemies. That's good because I'm not very accurate with my uh, cursoring yet. Though those things died pretty quick. When in doubt, more lightning. Lightning bolts jump to more nearby enemies. Everyone's getting lightning today. You gotta be really quick because something hit me there. Hearts drop from enemies more frequent. We literally rip the hearts out of them. Instead of that, we're gonna go for the onion. Reduces max health for all enemies. That basically means more damage. Typical onion stuff, really. So they're all gonna die quicker and we get more upgrades still. Basically, that just means more lightning. I do more damage at the beginning, but I do need to watch out because when the enemies start like shaking and moving, that means they're about to attack. So I don't have to be in as much of a hurry. We're gonna slowly burn this one to death. We're gonna really make it hurt. Higher chance to deal triple damage. Yes, that would be an automatic yes in pretty much any game I play or anything I do. Okay, we're gonna take out the witches and we're gonna get in there and just mess them all up with our lightning. I'm not sure if I can only get six upgrades or not. I'm gonna assume I uh, do so. Higher chance to deal triple damage. That should mean more one-shotting the morons. Whoops, walked right into a projectile. Which really wasn't a big deal. We lost a single heart and uh, it's just a matter of slowly destroying everyone. Higher chance again to deal triple damage. We're being very consistent with our upgrades for once. Uh, okay, we are gonna be very careful about how you approach these situations and not get hit like that. I picked up a heart though, so all is well in the world. Okay, two hearts that time. I'm actually gonna get Apple at two max hearts. That's gonna make me feel a little bit safer overall. And then Sticky Bomb, chance to attach a bomb to an enemy. That's just funny and cruel. So we'll get in there with a little flurry of attacks. We'll do our best to uh, start hitting things because as we do, we are gonna chain lightning. It is gonna get harder and harder to keep track of things, obviously, the more enemies that show up. That chain lightning is really doing work for us though, like really. So lightning bolts jump to more nearby enemies. I'm hoping eventually I could just like chain lightning everything. I saw that mustache. You can't hide from me. I know you're still a pink slime. I'm not that stupid. Spawns an orbiting cactus that deals damage to enemies. That could actually be fun because then I don't necessarily have to touch enemies sometimes. I can just let the cactus sort of sneak in there like that. Then I don't have to take any risk for myself. The cactus takes all the risks and I just laugh. Lightning bolts jump to more nearby enemies. I don't know how far these level ups could go, but I hope a long time. We're definitely uh, lightning a lot of things. Lightning-ing. These are mostly defensive upgrades. We're not here for defense. We're here for all out war. But hearts drop a enemies more frequent. Despite what I just said, we, we do need some survival. Lightning bolt jumped to more nearby enemies. Level 7 lightning. And that so far is absolutely wrecking almost everyone. It gets hard to see which ones are going to attack in all the chaos. Level 8. Level 8 is max. You can go no higher than that. So we have our upgrades down below and we have our weapons over here. So they're separate entities. So weapons like max level lightning are the ones that show up at the bottom. The other things are other things entirely and they might stack forever. I feel like this max level lightning is obscenely strong. The grid is destroying everything. Chance for enemies to fire out quills on death. I think that's good because the enemies die and explode and then they hurt other enemies and I laugh. Okay, those guys, I saw them ready to attack. Ow, as I walked into that one. And uh, yeah, okay. You see all the quills coming out of them? That's actually hugely strong. We've combined the power of Zeus with a porcupine and become something unstoppable. Like that. Uh, okay, we're just gonna do, uh, whoops, freeze for a sec. We gotta pay attention to what's happening just a little bit. Okay, Mustache Man's gonna get it. Okay, you gotta pay attention to their faces. They give away their next attack. And uh, I'm still screwing this up really badly. Are the mushrooms ready to attack when they make that face? I don't understand. Let's also try a little rage. Deals d double damage briefly when taking damage. I'd like to say I don't take damage ever, but that would just be a lie. And we're gonna increase qu porcupine. Quills deal more damage. I really just need them to do a lot of work right away, and I feel like I always get some free shots in right at the beginning of these levels. Uh, so as long as I get, whoops, that going, uh, it kind of starts a whole chain reaction of quills and lightning. And then we can just kind of get messy with it. Oh, the hearts don't last forever. I didn't know that either. I gotta have to be a little more diligent about picking those up. Fire trail lasts longer. The more I wave around, the more we're gonna leave a fire trail behind, slowly burning everything. 
Okay, okay, I see what's happening. Yep, good, good, good. Don't touch anything. It's very satisfying. And just like that, we made the demo look easy. But we still gotta try this big clunky moron. And I think he's gonna be even better. Especially because we can taunt the slimes. How do you like that? Oh, I didn't mean to pop him so quick. We're gonna go for a different approach this time. Something like a sticky bomb. Do you guys like sticky bombs? Can one of you have one? I want to see the sticky bomb. Well, we do 8 damage. That much is clear. I didn't notice that before. But at least we get damage readouts. I did not mean to click on that, but we have a thing orbiting us that blocks projectiles. We're also going to have a chance to inflict burn, dealing damage over time. Not my favorite kind of damage, but damage nonetheless. And sometimes it's funnier to watch him slowly burn to death anyway. It's just a really cruel fate. How about you? Oh, I saw the bomb for the first time. I know it's obviously spawned before, but I never realized that. There it is. Level 2. Higher chance to attach a bomb to an enemy. I want like a 100% chance to do that. That way we can just laugh hysterically while we're attaching bombs to everything. There was a bomb, I saw it. I don't think the bombs hit multiple idiots though. I think it's a one, one thing for one enemy. Come on, give me some bombs. You know you want to. Bombs? No bombs there, but they are burning alive. The big slimes really are quite tough. And then there was just this little nugget. He's got no idea what's about to happen to him. Thought he would light on fire there. Well, he did. He fizzled out. Shooting star drops his star to attack enemies. Wait, like, okay, well the bomb got that one a little bit. Okay, it rains a star down. It made it sound like it was a little, like, attack helper thing. But nope, it's just dropping a star on things to hurt them. We're dropping a star and a bomb. They, um, oh, if we move the slimes, it doesn't necessarily hit them. Creates toxic spores around you, dealing damage to enemies within range. Oh, okay, so we got like a little AoE thing. Okay, so we could just kind of wander through them every once in a while. We're raining stars and poison down on them. Ow, that was um, my own fault entirely. But I was laughing at this. I like how in this game you could just take a breath and taunt them. Maybe even attach a bomb to them or hit them with a fall falling star. The poison actually does quite a bit of damage. Like, it will actually tick away really, really quickly. Do we have anything more exciting? Reduce end of my projectile speed. That could actually be good. But that could also entirely work against us. Cactus. Uh, let's upgrade the, uh, the higher size of Toxic Spore thing. Actually, that got quite a bit bigger. If you got that to max level, you might actually be able to hit things almost everywhere. I kind of want that heart. Uh, okay, well, that, that was stupid, but I got the heart. I didn't say I wanted to get the heart and not take damage. I just said I wanted the heart, and I did it. Uh, we're going to poison the rest of these guys. We haven't lit anyone on fire in a while either. I want more fire upgrades. I guess we can settle for a shooting star upgrade. Drops more stars to random enemies. Do I have to hit them or can my uh, other thing do that? Okay, I never even noticed those guys before. We just tend to kill them so quickly. Look at all the stars. It's raining stars. Do you guys like it? Here, have some stars. That means we're friends. Well, we're going to go back to leaving a trail of fire behind us. So I can share some fire with my friends too. We bring them light with the stars and we bring them heat with the fire. The bombs are um, a bit debatable as to whether or not they're helpful to my friends. Mm, I'm just going to melt this guy in acid or whatever this is. Yeah, that feels better. Do you like that? Adorable slimes. Shooting star. Drops more stars to random enemies. We're going to make even more friends. There's also a lot more enemies, but I'm pretty sure I just have to hit like any slimes and the stars will sort of just spawn. I don't know if I got hit there or they got hit. I heard something happen. It's fun. When you see a path through, you can just go like that and in come the stars and damage. I forget what those mushrooms do. Uh, that. They explode when they die. Got it. I just realized how lucky we were last time by getting the lightning upgrades right away because we're not stacking maximum upgrades right away this time. I really want max level stars because that would be fun. Uh, we're going to get dice to add more rerolls. Higher chance to inflict burn. So now when we hit these morons, we're getting stars and hopefully more fire. I don't know why, but this just feels right. Fire and stars. Maybe it's the colors. Maybe it's the sound effects. I can't quite put my finger on it. Increase the size of toxic spore. Well, it got a little bit bigger and on a wave like this, like I don't actually have to go near the enemy. I could just sit there and go like this and melt them one by one. <laughs> There's not a thing they can do about it. They just watch their brothers and sisters getting melted before their eyes. Even three at a time. Big ones, small ones. I don't discriminate. There's not a lot of backstory to this, but I assume I'm just sort of attacking them out of the blue and genociding everything they have. Here, there we go. We'll make it uh, even. We'll get everyone to melt. I mean, yeah, there's a faster way to kill them. We could drop some stars in them. We could light them on fire, but I don't know. Melting them just feels right. And if we get this thing big enough, we'd actually be able to hit like all the slimes on the map all at once. I would really like to see that. Here, would you guys like some stars? Which one's going to be the final survivor of his family? Cast your votes now. It's going to be the lower one. Oh, he popped quicker than I thought. I don't blame him. He had lost a lot of relatives by that point. We're gonna have more star power. That way we could just go like that and rain absolute stars down. Uh, I haven't really seen the damage of stars in a while. I don't know if that changed. 
uh, 8 damage. 8 damage per star. So when we rain all those stars down, our DPS actually goes up by quite a bit. Then we can go back to the melting. Melting him and then melting him. Just a little bit at first. Even more star power. Level 5. How many stars are dropping at this point? Uh, they should, you know, in theory have been more than that. Okay, one sec. We're just going to uh, let the stars align, so to speak, and then go... Whoop. Oh, I still hit one anyway. Where's all my stars? I paid good money for those. Ah, whatever. It'll still work. You just go like that a little bit and down come the stars. Right, well, the stars aren't as good as I thought they were. The lightning was much better, I think. The bombs are probably also quite good. The stars are very, uh, I don't know. There's still something very satisfying about them, though. Here, you guys can melt. Melt together. This is why I wanted more rerolls, so we could get more fun stuff. And uh, none of those are that exciting. Could I have more stars? Oh, these are the wrong kind of upgrades. Uh, add one more slash damage per missing heart. Yes. Oh, and there's higher level stars, level 6. Here, would you guys like some- That's a lot of stars. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Maybe it's one of those things that's just- You gotta get it really leveled up before it's gonna really shine through. Uh, I wanted that heart, and uh, once it's back to pink slimes, you really just don't touch them. Unless you have to. There's a lot of forgiveness in this one so far. What has rain stars done on them and murdered their lives? I'm still managing to get hit, even though they're uh, being very slow. But that's thanks to my own stupidity. I take full responsibility. More star power level 7. We're getting so close. Hey, would you guys like- Look, yeah, that's better. Is the game taking it easy on me? Why are there only pink slimes? It's not that hard to defeat these, because they just do that. They're very predictable and easy. Like once those ones are done, we can just kind of go like that, and then we can rain stars down all over them. It's just a good old-fashioned meteor shower. Now I'm kind of sad that my purple aura isn't bigger too. I wanted to be melting more of them at once. But at least we can light them on fire. I definitely walked straight into that one. The stars are pretty good actually if you're a lazy player. The stars in the chain lightning would probably be better because they'll do all the work for you. You just gotta hit a slime occasionally. Max level shooting stars. Okay, let's see how that looks. Perfect. Lots of damage raining down. I think the enemies get tougher too. The only way to know for sure is to attack them with stars. I would like to count the stars as they fall, but I don't think I'm going to be quick enough to do that. Maybe it's how happy they look. The game's got such a happy vibe, but I'm making it so dark by melting them and their family. Higher chance to inflict burn. I kind of forgot about that again, so here you go. You guys can have some stars. Oh, there's a lot of guys burning too. Do you guys want some burn? Yeah, we did it. We lit the mushroom on fire. It doesn't say what the odds are. It just says that it's a higher chance. But our damage is probably high enough. It's a little bit hard to see things get lit on fire, because mostly they just die to a uh, volley of stars. Plus we have a fire trail too, so we have double fire. And there's lots of stars. I feel like I'm just gonna sit here and do this all day. There's just something incredibly satisfying about whatever's happening. Reduces max health for all enemies. We still have an upgrade spot down below. Like, we haven't even gotten all the upgrades yet. I guess sticky bomb? Higher level for sticky bomb, that way we can attach a few bombs. I didn't really see the damage of that. Uh, if I happen to see that again, we need to take a look. I made it all this way, 18 I think for a bomb. The projectiles are pretty hard to avoid, but the game really didn't throw many at me this time. So we could just casually go through and make a mockery of it all. Bigger poison Nova, you shouldn't have. So even at best, this is all the projectiles are going to throw at me, which obviously is a big step up from where we were. And then it does get a little bit hard to find your angle in because they're all just about ready to attack. But you just find a little corner like that and then rain stars down on them. And then once they're spread out, you just got to find some of the more annoying ones and light them on fire. Like this little guy. Oops. Well, I was meant to light him on fire. We just sort of evaporated him instead. But in my experience, evaporation just happens sometimes when you're dealing with things. Well, it's time to send a message. They're going to watch your family members dissolve one by one. And somehow this just feels right. They didn't need to make them so cute, but they did. Is this a dark game or not? I can't really tell. I'm making it dark, but it's hard to say. Y it's not. Look at it's saying wishless please with the face. It's a cute game. I just made it dark because I there's something wrong with me.